This is Dr. Mark Cooper again, and today I'm going to talk about and, and demonstrate to you another strategy to help remove uric acid levels from your system, and it probably helps other acids too and other forms of arthritis besides the gouty arthritis. But this is dark cherry extract. You can get this at Ingalls and maybe other stores in your local area. So what I, the way I do this is I take oh about three or four tablespoons of this or teaspoons of it I guess two tablespoons would probably be enough and then I take alkalized water which is 9.5 water and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in another tape or video then you just pour it on here and I put it on some ice okay because I like it cold I don't like it really hot I mix it up and there you have a treatment for gout, and it helps detox the body from uh, uric acid crystals. And then you want to drink about one, or, uh, at least a glass of this a day to help prevent the gout attacks. And it, it, uh, the only only issue you have on this that you need to be concerned with is if you're diabetic, then this can raise your blood sugar a little bit, and you need to be watching for that. And so test your blood sugar about an hour and a half after you do this to kind of see how much uh, raise in your blood sugar you're getting and see if it's going to be okay for you to do. All right, and another strategy that I'm just going to bring in here at this video is some herbs that help gout besides or work as an anti-inflammatory. Besides the tart cherry extract drink, there are some other natural anti-inflammatory supplements that you can add if you're having arthritis or if you're having gouty arthritis attacks. And you can use this on an ongoing basis. The only side effect to these supplements that I'm gonna show you here in just a minute is that they have a blood thinning characteristic to them. And you have to be a little careful if you're taking an 81 milligram aspirin for blood thinner or if you're on any other uh, medications like Plavix or some of the other uh, medications that, that cause blood thinning or they're for your heart. Coumadin is another one you have to be specifically careful for. In fact, um, you probably don't need to be taking any of the supplements that I'm going to be mentioning if you're on Coumadin until you talk to your cardiologist about that one. Uh, the chart cherry extract probably won't be an issue but some of these others that I'm going to mention here in just a second might be. Um, so those are the considerations. Just watch for any nosebleeds or any extra bleeding or bruising that you might have. All right. But here's some other strategies. This is bromelain. Bromelain is a comes from that's a papaya. It comes from the pineapple, um, and it works uh, to help. It's an anti-inflammatory too, a natural anti-inflammatory. But again, this helps, it causes some blood thinning, so you gotta watch for that. This is the tart cherry extract in pill form that you might wanna consider. Shouldn't affect the platelet levels like the others do, though. This is Boswella. Boswella is frankincense. Remember the wise men? This is what they brought to baby Jesus. But uh, Boswella, and this is the a pill form of it, and it, it uh, actually has autoimmune characteristics to it that builds your immune system up, to help fight cancer, along with um, uh, a natural, working as a natural anti-inflammatory. So I like that one a lot. This is turmeric. This is in the pill form. Looks like that. Uh, but it, uh, and you can get the regular powder. It's just a spice in your rack in your uh, spice rack but you can get this in the pill and again this works as an anti-inflammatory as well and then here's some ginger root a ginger root specifically for nausea and for GI upset uh, and for travel sickness uh, especially if you get the uh, wheezy in the back seat of a car uh, or if you're on a boat this can help you uh, for those issues as well but it works as a natural anti-inflammatory um, and actually as an anti-parasitic so I hope this uh, video has been helpful for your arthritis and maybe you can incorporate some of these strategies 
our natural health strategies into your life and make things go a little bit easier for you. This is Dr. Mark Cooper. Remember, make uh, food your medicine.